So I bought something. Okay. <laughs> I am so glad that didn't fall off the table. This is the Mafia 3 Collector's Edition. And when I say this is really cool, I mean it. This is amazing. And I found it in my local CEX. For those wondering how much this costs, um, it was £45. And um, I don't think it comes with a game. Uh, we'll see. I haven't actually fully gone through this, so we might have a surprise in here. Nothing on the back. Um, there's actually nothing written anywhere apart from the front. Now, as you know, I love Mafia. It's one of my favourite series, and I really enjoyed Mafia 3. I know the game isn't the most loved of the series. I think it's actually kind of the worst rated of the series, but I don't care. It's Mafia. Um, I needed this because uh, I did see there was one thing inside which was really bloody cool. I'm going to have to move up the camera because I can't literally fit this in because <laughs> it's so bloody big. But as you can see, there's quite a few things in here. I don't know how many of you have actually seen what comes in this collector's edition because I didn't even know this existed until I found it in CEX. So the first thing in here is this, as you've probably noticed, it's Vito. There he is. Collectible art prints. And there he is with his Tommy gun. Very fancy. They're invisible. You have to use one of those lights. Uh, no, I, I think they're just turned around. Uh oh. <laughs> I wasn't... <laughs> Ooh la la. <laughs> okay. I wasn't expecting that. Right. Uh, there you go. Um, it's... Pow. Um, I don't actually know what that says, uh, but there you have it. That is... Um... Yep, okay. Um, I, 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 I'm worried now. What well, was going to be... Oh, hello. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Okay. Uh, yeah, wow. Um, very, very nice. Um, expect that on my wall soon. Um, and and that's, that, that's all the smut we get in there. So we have uh, another thing here. Oh, my God. This, okay. This is why I bought this, because it actually comes with physical records. This is uh, the official soundtrack of Mafia 3, and it's in this beautiful uh, cover. I'm going to try and get this out of here without damaging it, uh, because, yes, these are fully functional records, so I don't want to accidentally ruin these. Now, I don't have a record player, annoyingly, um, but as you can see, if we were to take this off, oh my god. That's, uh, that seems some wear and tear, but I, I'm sure it'll be fine if we give it a clean. Um, but as you can see, hello, it's me. Hi. Chain gang. Um, I let a good thing go by. Go, go shoes. Slip away. And the house of the rising sun. Oh, I'd love to listen to that on vinyl. And on the back, it also has um, Black Coast Blues, Paint It Black, Tramp. <laughs> Um, I got my mojo working, very fancy, Walking the Bog, and All Along the Watchtower by Jimi Hendrix. Jesus. Okay, that's really bloody cool. I hope this works. Um, I'm probably holding this wrong. I've never owned a record apart from one, and you're never going to guess what that is. <laughs> so I actually got given um, the Driver San Francisco record uh, when that game came out because I worked in Game Station and they gave me a promo copy and it's bright yellow. It's amazing. Um, I don't know where that is though, but as you can see, that's really nice. And on the back, we've obviously got the list of all the different tracks that are on here uh, and this really nice kind of like early 70s, late 60s artwork. So that's really cool. Original game score. So this is Cassandra. Um, and on the back of here, we've got uh, New Bordeaux, 11th Hour Blues, that's Plan Padre, Crush and Shuffle. Um, so this is all the orchestrated music in the game. Um, so this isn't like um, kind of official soundtrack stuff. Uh, freezers and Paper Trails, Going Down Slow, Howl, and the only thing, only one thing we're good at. Um, so I'm guessing that's going to look similar to the previous record. Oh, I love that. Oh, it's so nice. It's so fancy. I <laughs> I know I say everything's very fancy, but this is very fancy. 
Okay, what else have we got in here? So we've got the official art book, which I think we'll take a look at last. What is this? So it's a box inside a box. Um, I don't actually know what's in here. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, let's bring the camera back down. Um, so we have the game. Okay, so this is the PS4 version of the game. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. I wasn't too bothered with what version it was because I own this on pretty much everything anyway. Um, but we do have um, the deluxe edition of um, Mafia 3. Um, we've also got the map, which is really nice. It's always good to keep those. I, I will say whenever I trade in games, I always take the maps out because I really like the maps. So um, anyone that buys games from me uh, won't have the maps. Um, <laughs> um, we've got toilet paper manual. It's awful. All these new manuals suck. I don't see the point. It's just a waste of paper. I'm assuming the DLC is on the disc because I can't see any DLC codes. Otherwise, I'd have them on the screen right now. But uh, I don't see them. To be honest, I think they've just put the standard Mafia 3 game in here and not put the deluxe edition. <sighs> okay, fine, 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 it's fine. I already own it, it's okay. Right, what else have we got in here? We have Hotel and Casino Paradiso, the South's premier entertainment destination. Uh, Hotel and Casino... What is this going to be? Is this going to be playing cards? Oh, God. Hang on. Oh, 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 that's fancy. What is this? It's a hockey puck. Well, <laughs> oh, it's um, real leather. Damn. Sammy's Bar. Okay, so they're coasters. Um, what's this say on there? Family isn't. That's really hard to read. Family isn't who you're born with it's who you die for um so you've got mafia 3 on the back and i'm assuming these are all the same but yeah they are really nice they look like oreos um <laughs> very tasty um yeah really cool um i might i might put those out when i when i own a house i don't i don't own a house I, I'm, I'm renting um if you guys want to donate so i can buy a house that'd be great thanks um right we'll put those back in there and the last box is this 223rd oh these are the okay i knew what these were these are the dog tags uh for lincoln clay so we can actually get in here and get these out Oh my god, that's so cool. So, are they all one thing? Yeah, okay. So, we have... Uh, wait, that's backwards. Um, <laughs> I was wondering why I couldn't read it. Wait, no. No, it, no, that is right. Lincoln Clay J. Oneg Catholic? I think that says. It's really hard to read. And I'm assuming that's the same as well. Yeah. God, they're so cool, though. Yeah, they are, uh, that is real metal. It's not just, like, plastic or anything. That is really nice. And inside here, we do have this amazing artwork. I love this, uh, especially Lincoln Clay's car. It's one of my favorite cars in the Mafia series. That fell out. <laughs> the last thing we need to take a look at is the art book. The art of Mafia 3. Oh, this is so fancy. Right. It's massive as well. Like, <laughs> my hands aren't that big. I have like average size hands, but you can see how big this bloody book is. Right, let's open this up and see what is in here. Um, oh my God. Slowly staggering down a party heavy street in the French Quarter, blasting through the bayou in a 1968 American muscle car, listening to Dusty Springfield. It's never easy to create a new game world, but now, <laughs> but now with the technology of the PS4, um, we have New Bordeaux, okay. I really love the design of the city itself. Um, and as you can see here, so this is all the concept art that was done for the game. Um, and that's just really nice. I wish it was as busy as the concept art showed. Um, I mean, there was a lot of pedestrians on the street and stuff, but not as kind of crazy as that shows. Um, 
but yeah, it's got like concept art of the different like streets and stuff. That looks very accurate to what the final game was. Don Salieri's bar, very fancy. Um, we've got this, which looks cool. Isn't that Cassandra's? Oh, <laughs> We've got uh, these little guys, because this is from that fun fair that you end up going to quite early in the game. And uh, I love these. Look at these little crocodile guys. They're so cool. Or are they alligators? Oh, I'm going to have comments. <laughs> I'm gonna, there's going to be some. Excuse me, they're alligators. Oh, he's looking so fancy there. He's looking so sassy. <laughs> is he just doing a little dance? A little jig, Donovan. Very nice. God, so detailed. Guys, the, all the crazy work that goes into the game before it's even put into a game engine is insane. Because I guess they need to have all this done to kind of have an idea of what they want to do with it. We'll look at another page, but I don't want to spoil too much, just in case you end up getting this for yourself. Um, strike against low wages. Dock workers unite. Um, and you can see, like, concept art for the different factories and stuff in the game. Oh, that looks so cool. Yeah, I really like this. This is amazing. So for £45, which I paid for it, I think this is actually well worth it. Especially... If you own a record player, uh, which I, I, I don't, um, so um, I might have to go on Amazon and get one, and then we can listen to the soundtrack together, and it will be muted because YouTube will hate me. Um, but yeah, as you can see, really bloody nice. So that is what is inside the Mafia 3 Collector's Edition. Um, I hope you enjoyed this random video. I just wanted to unbox this because I'd never seen this before, and if you're a fan of Mafia... Now you know this exists, um, if you didn't already have it. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I love each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching. What was your favourite part in here? But until next time, that's me, out. Bye, guys.